I'm Bram van der Borgt, I'm Professor of Robotics at the University of Brussels and affiliated with IMIC and I'm coordinator of the European Marie Curie project SMART, which is an innovative training network. The goal of the project is to develop smart materials for robots. The project connects material scientists with robotics researchers. The reason is a classical robot is made of hard plastics and metals, which is very unsafe to go with an unknown dynamic changing environment. But if we look to our own body, we are made of a lot of soft materials, which make us safe to interact with other humans and our environment. But our materials are also very smart. We can sense, we can activate, but also, for example, sell a feel if we are damaged. And that are smart properties which the material scientists bring in the materials. And then we see how we can develop sensors, actuators, bodies with those unique materials to go towards robot applications to serve our society and economy. The healing starts with damage detection, like that is the case for human body. We have brain, we have the nervous system, the information comes from that. In robots, we have to also integrate some damage detection sensors. We know the damage, we know where it is, and we know how severe it is. And based on that, we decide what to do. Based on the material, sometimes we need to apply temperature, uh, sometimes we need to increase the humidity or change the pH. We try to make also this ability integrated in the system. For me, I did a self-healing heater integrated in a soft robotic structure. My project, or at least the main part of the last three years, have been about soft interfaces for telerobotics. So the idea of having a robot in a given space and a second robot in a second remote space and then to use the first one to control the second one. And in particular, I look at the interface that the humans have to deal with um, and I use soft materials because we want to reproduce what it should feel like human to human contact. The whole idea of a Marie Curie training network is that a lot of institutes from Europe and partner countries as Switzerland and Turkey work together. And so the network consists both of academia, but also a lot of companies and other research institutes. Working in SMART was very interesting because we are a big consortium, different, different ESRs in different parts of Europe, and we are all working in different topics. Like there is a group of people who are working on the robotics part and a group of us working on the materials part. And then I think uh, the most interesting thing for me was how SMART like kind of connected these two dots. And uh, not only in terms of research, but I would also say that I met good friends from different parts of the world. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to not just know about their research, but also about their background and their, their culture itself. So it, it's really interesting to see how either we are all in the same project and we are all the same age. There are still a lot of boundaries related to just the different background and a lot of things you can learn from each other. What I find very interesting in such a training network is that a lot of expertises from very different fields focus on the same joint topic of how we can make robots more safe and sustainable in the future. And that gives very novel ideas about materials, simulations, AI, uh, sensors and so on. And all those people with all their different backgrounds come together and also work very closely together, which give very nice insights.